Hi people, this is your girl Phoenix. Back to do another energy update for the sign of Aries. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs of Aries. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming through for you guys today. <clears throat> Alright Aries, there is someone in particular that you are holding in mind right now. Someone that you find very attractive. Someone that you are very drawn to. And it could be because there is a new beginning that you want to have or this person wants to have with you. Yeah, it's a budding romance that is definitely going to be taking off very soon. So, let's see what is happening here. Yeah, but there is some type of constriction or constraints that are holding you back, Aries. But this person is definitely a soulmate. Huh. I think what is holding you back from pursuing this person is possibly the fact that this person could have a child. You are thinking twice about that. But you and this person share a very deep connection. That is for sure. Alright, so let's see if I can get some clarifiers here for you guys. Alright, so we have the Six of Pentacles. So I think what is holding you back from this person is actually wondering if they feel the same way for you like you feel for them. There is definitely a magnetic sexual attraction between you and this person. And you're wondering if they feel the same way that you do. Because you actually want to be in a relationship with this person. You want to be the everything I'm hearing for some of you. And you want to have a new beginning when it comes to love. You want a lot of abundance with this person. You want to actually begin something with this person and have it flourish into something beautifully. You're going to get what it is you want, Aries. Because a lot of stuff is balancing out for you. Could be a Libra you're dealing with or you can have it in your chart. But the universe is bringing everything around for you in perfect timing and alignment. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing a lot of soul searching right now as to if to go towards this person or not. Um, <clears throat> I think unsurety is what is keeping you back and fear of rejection. But this is for selected few Aries because I know Aries to be very bold people. Is it that you feel so deeply for this person that you're afraid they will reject you? You see them having a lot of past baggages. You see them carrying out around a lot of past baggages. Maybe failed relationships, people that didn't treat them right, people that were very harsh to them. So you may have you may have had a little crash course with this person. If this is someone new that you are trying to get into a relationship with, you probably had conversations with this person or you will, that will make you kind of scared of coming on too strong. Because we know Aries can definitely come on too strong when they really want something. But know that the opportunity will not pass you. This person wouldn't like to know you. You're going to be a presence in this person's life. But there are probably certain things that this person needs to work through. Before they can actually accept the offer that you're trying to make to them. Could be a Leo for some of you. Or you can have it in your chart. 
but i do see you finding the strength and the courage to finally go towards this person have some type of communication with them offer them your love offer them a new beginning when it comes to love and i think you're going to have to prove yourself to this person or they're going to have to prove themselves to you if the roles are reversed please take it as it resonates but definitely there is definitely someone that is willing to put any work and the effort into this relationship no third parties no extra marital stuff it's just you and this person and i think you're going to prove to this person that you have chosen them that they are your choice and that wouldn't change for you yeah because you don't want to have any regrets you feel like you have one shot with this person you feel like it's a deal maker or a deal breaker depending on how you approach this person that's nice you're very conscious of this individual though and you're not being the best version of yourself are you aries because this is a really a peculiar energy especially for aries they're usually bold and assertive and know exactly what it is they want. But for this collective that I'm reading for right now, it seems like you're unsure of yourself. Or you don't want to come on too strong because you're afraid this person is going to run. And you really, really want to be in a connection with this individual. For some of you, commitment has always been something that you ran from. And it scares you to actually want to commit to this particular person. So some of you, it's your own lack of wanting to commit that is causing you to feel so unsure about yourself. Because you know, once you go towards this person, your player days are definitely over. There is no back and forth with this person. I think this person may have said that to you or will be saying that to you. It's not about having fun for this person. It's about having something serious with this person. <clears throat> but I do see you having the victory. You have definitely caught this person's eye. They do notice you. You will have the victory that you want in the relationship. So that is definitely a plus for you. Yeah. Once you step into the best version of yourself that you can be and show this person that you are a born leader, that you can take charge of the situation, that you're willing to be faithful, you're willing to have a new beginning with them, and you definitely do love them, I think you're going to win this person over 100%. But you have to be more sure of yourself. You may be thinking, am I really ready to commit to this person? Is this really <clears throat> something that I want? Yeah. But you're finally letting go of those thoughts, those feelings, those fears. Which is good because, like I said, it's very peculiar for our Aries to be unsure of themselves. You guys are really, 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 really sure of yourselves. And I think it's your fear of actually being in a commitment with someone that is holding you back from approaching this person. Because it would seem that this person really is your person. They compliment you in every way and that scares you. And you wonder if they feel the same for you like you feel for them. Yes. Yeah. You're willing to give up your player ways. You're willing to come clean. You're willing to come straight. No more game playing. No more lies. No more deceptions. Yeah, you're willing to give this person the whole nine yards. You're ready for this commitment with this person. <laughs> You're ready to settle down and be in a committed relationship with this individual. Nice. Yeah, I, I know you guys always know what it is you want. Yeah, you want more than friendship with this person. You're unsure as to how to get to this person. Because I guess you've been looking at them for a very long time. Through social media. Probably you work with this person. You had conversations with this person, but they really caught your eye. And the only thing you could think about is this individual. You're stuck on them. Your heart tells you that you want it, but your mind asks you if you're really ready to commit. Yeah. You really do want this to work out, actually. 
but i think it's the fear of commitment that has you holding yourself back and not giving yourself a hundred percent yeah because this person is everything you've ever wished for this person is everything your heart has ever been desiring and it is really really strange to you right now that it could actually be this person so there is a type of fear that you're feeling concerning this like is this for real is is this my person am i making a mistake but i, I this person has all the qualities that i've been looking for and you're about to have a passionate new beginning with this person so there would be a lot of passion and a lot of love but definitely new beginnings for my aries yeah you're having a lot of internal conflict i'm feeling this to be internal i'm not feeling it to be external it is a new relationship it is a new feeling for you because you may have been non-committal to a lot of people in the past you may have had a series of relationships but none that you really wanted to commit to to be involved with to definitely want to invest your whole life into invest you as a person into so i think just the idea of you having to commit to this person or wanting to commit to this person brings about a little bit of fear in you Let's see what are some of the things you like to do. All right, these are my own cards of messages that you want to say to this person or this person wants to say to you. However it resonates, take it as it resonates. But I think you're finally getting over your fear of commitment. Because this person is definitely your soulmate. This person is the other half of you. This person is the person that completes you. And I think, I know, they definitely feel the same way for you that you feel for them. Spirit, what does Aries want to say to this person or this person wants to say to Aries? This is my life. I live it how I choose. Live any present moments. I need to lose you in order to truly begin to love me. So it seems that this person does have a lot of baggage from prior relationships. And I do understand why you're being skeptical. But Aries, you love the way this person laughs. And you want to kiss them so badly. So this person may come with a little bit of baggage or a lot of baggage. Every day is a new experience. But I think for me, if I feel a strong connection to someone, I usually give it a chance. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But if you're afraid to put your heart out there, you're never going to know who is the right person for you. So my advice to you, Aries, is stop being so afraid. I've never really experienced an Aries that are afraid. So you probably need to check your other placements in your chart. Because you guys are bold. You know what you want and you go after it. You get what you want. So I think if you know you have committal issues to work on it do a self-love course i do carry a great self-love course if you want if you want to find out about it it's in the email you can contact me via email and we can talk about that but yeah double mission channeling and uplifting humanity so i guess while you're finding yourself this relationship is definitely taking you through some type of spiritual awakening how are you being called to step up and lead so you need to trust your intuition a bit more, Aries. Mirror. Who or what is mirroring, is triggering you? So this person, because they are a soulmate, or a twin flame for some of you, they are reflecting your insecurities back to you. And I now understand what the fear is. 
No one likes to see themselves reflected back to them. It's a very uncomfortable thing. But it is where you would get a lot of growth in your life. How can you mother yourself? How can you take care of yourself better, Aries? You need to find you again. Because for some of you, you may have had bad experiences with prior relationship. And this has you in a fearful mood to try again. But this time, I think it is going to work out because this person is your soulmate. This person does see you for the great person that you are. And once you do the work on yourself and you heal and you let go of all the negativity, I know this will work for you. All right. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. For those of you that are interested in personal readings, the link is in the description below. All right. Have a good one.